For Artist Day 2010, we decided we were going to do, you know, a big, big, big gig. We're going to get going music from start to finish, from five o'clock right through to two o'clock in the morning. And also, we were going to the, we went to Guinness. We decided we'd go to Guinness. We'd pick up, a, we'd pick a batch of Guinness from the brewery, get it delivered down here from Barge because it's 50 years, uh, 50 years since the Barge was last into Limerick delivering, delivering the their Guinness. So we went up. The month before, picked out the picked out the batch of Guinness, just put aside for us. Came down in the barge and came into the docks on Arthur's Day. So it just made a great occasion of the the whole thing, a great experience for everybody, you know. So we the big the, the guys who were down in the barge 50, uh, 50 years ago arrived down on the barge and we had dinner with them downstairs. And traditional music in the bar started at five o'clock. Arthur's Day rang in, and then we had bands starting here. At, up here at half six, seven o'clock, right through. So we five or six bands here, and we'd five bands out the back, and it was just the magic. Six sixty-eight M with the barge that came down is a guy who owns it called um, Jerry Burke, and Jerry uh, Jerry bought the barge when it was in a bad state of repair. He originally owned by CIE, and it was uh, it was sunk in I think some somewhere up the Grand Canal. He took it up. He uh, he stripped it all out, redone the whole, redone everything, and put a, a a cabin on it to to stay on. And uh, he's done a fantastic job in it, you know. And he's part of the the Waterways Heritage Boats Association. And he'd be he'd be one of the top one of the top guys in it, you know. I heard some great stories from the guys in the barges who were around them and where they went and like they they came down. When we come down uh, from from the lake, down around the in, down down to the Shannon, they were looking at all the areas that they'd been. So it wasn't like that when we were here. Now it's all you know, it's trees and things grown because 50 years is a long time for growth. Yet. So they were amazed at the whole change and the look of the place from what it was coming down through Arden Crush here and all these places. We, we had a, it was a fantastic trip we had down to there. And great to see these guys. You know, these guys probably aren't going to be around forever. But they're, you know, it's the stories that they have and where they started, you know, and great stories, you know. I think Artist Day, I think from Ireland's point of view, I think it's fantastic to have this day. It's like a Paddy's Day. And like commercially for Guinness, well, I'm fine. But I think for Ireland, commercially, it should be embraced and taken out because it wasn't just in Ireland, it was all over. It's all over the world. And the amount of money that Guinness are putting into actually sponsoring the whole thing and making this Guinness live now is fantastic. And I think. Uh, I think Paul Fawcett want to wrap their arms around it and get a hold of it and, and embrace it, you know. And I think it's a great thing for the future.
a great Arctur's Day. Bands were fantastic and uh, everybody had a ball. It was just brilliant, you know. We'll be looking forward to next year. We're going to do bigger and better next year and keep going forward. And I think it's a fantastic day and it was a great vibe. Everybody loved it. Loved the whole session. It was fantastic.